You know, everyone is unique, and there are a thousand different ways you can simplify your life. But there are some things that everybody can do. Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with another vlog, a general interest vlog, and it's about uh, life's simplification. And you see a million articles out there about uh, simplifying your life, decluttering and all that. But you know, everybody's different. Uh, everybody has uh, different things complicating their lives for whatever reason. But uh, I decided to talk about a couple things that everybody can do probably like today. Um, and the first thing I like to point out is it, it, everybody should look at all the optional things that they're doing. Whether it's for work or entertainment, you know, especially like TV and video games and other little recreational um, hobbies. Uh, while they're fun and everything, just you should probably cut 90% of them out. And uh, that includes uh, friends and acquaintances as well. Everybody has way too many uh, uh, friends and they're always busy being tugged in one way or another. And that just takes away from your own personal time and time to grow mentally and time to rest and time to uh, just reflect on life. Uh, if you're constantly doing something, life will be gone before you know it. Um, and, and the same thing goes for technology, um, any technology that you're using, because uh, technology, while they claim it, you know everything is easier, you have you work more efficiently, and so on, it, that's not true. You know it's not true. Uh, you just keep adding more little things in your life, and then all of a sudden, before you know it, you have a hundred app notifications dinging your phone, and you constantly have to check things upgrade them and they usually don't work and you have to mess with the settings and you're sitting there fiddling with your phone all day uh, it's probably best to go back to you know how things used to be and just do things manually and, and mentally uh, instead of having a phone to rely on because I really think it does uh, create more problems than it solves uh, I guess you could keep your bare minimum on your phone sort of like email maybe uh, texting is just I think ridiculous we I don't text at all but uh, if you need that fine just you know where are you what time when are you gonna be here that type of stuff um, but uh, and another thing I think oh you, know, you can have your banking if you need to deposit checks instead of having to go all the way to the bank you know you can that might save you some time uh, sometimes but uh, another thing that I think really helps people a lot is to stop bringing their technology to bed uh, they play games or look at entertainment or watch videos on a tiny little screen and constantly have to hear the dinging and ringing and binging um, and then the first thing they do when they wake up is look at the phone again and that's just uh, it, it dictates how you think for the day it kind of shapes uh, your your initial uh, emotions of the day if you if you're reading things and thinking about things outside of your own immediate world your bedroom and your house and or apartment or whatever you live in. So I think it's good to, to start the day fresh with the mind, the thoughts that were on your mind when you woke up instead of having to think about what was on your phone. That's just uh, very important to us. And if you're a city dweller or have been for a long time, I think the city really complicates things too. Uh, it's just densely populated, there's noise and I mean, even if you work in the city and that's what you want to do, that's fine. But I think if you uh, relocate to um, a quieter location, um, far, far, far further away from the city, that, that really helps uh, simplify things. And now, don't get me wrong, uh, when you have a house and a lot of property, that adds new uh, things that you have to do. But there's something different about uh, doing it in the peace and quiet of, a, uh, of the wilderness. Uh, and it, it's more personal. Like when I have to fix things or care for the land it, it's something about it it doesn't feel complicated and and troubling to me it's it's more of a me connecting with the earth I and mean, i don't mean to sound like a hippie but that's it, it feels different than doing like hectic modern day things but uh here's another important thing that we like to uh stress and it helps uh calm your mind as well it's stop caring about what other people think of you Everybody's looking for acceptance always, and, and a lot of it has to do with likes and shares and all this on, on the technology-related social media platforms. But uh, if you just feel confident in what you're doing and, and focus on that, not worrying about everybody else's uh, comments and, 
and so on, it, it's, it makes a big deal and, and that can also help you simplify your life because you're not worrying about everybody else and changing your ways because somebody has something to say about you. And I, I understand when you want feedback, you can get feedback, but uh, I wouldn't worry too much about what other people think of you regardless. And in the end, I, I think it's everybody needs to go through this stuff, this complicated stuff, uh, in order to, to feel you know appreciative when they when they take a step back um, by not experiencing life you know it has its downsides too so it's probably good to you know quote unquote get it out of your system uh, all the frenetic uh, paces of, of life you know you know in this instance city living um, or having like a like a busy body life where you're constantly doing things every day of the week you have something going on it's probably not such a bad thing to experience that for a period of time but it's my true belief that people have a an expiration date uh, in terms of how much they can handle uh, long term if, if someone can do it their entire life and you know drop dead being busy that's you know that's fine, but I don't think that's natural. I think anybody that's reached that point where they need to be busy all the time, there's something else wrong. So that's it. Try and have a nice, uh, simple weekend. Don't don't pressure yourself with a lot of things on your plate. And I think you, if you keep that up, uh, your life will definitely get better. Have a nice weekend.